Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome once again to the Sunday service. My name is Zeke and this is Gateway Community Church where we reach people and transform lives. Glad to have you with us today. So regardless of what time you're in, it might be a morning time at this point or you might be around cresting towards the evening or in the afternoon. Regardless of which, regarding time zones and such, you might be uh, here within the Philippines or outside. Once again, welcome home. Find a seat, if you will. Uh, or find a spot where you're comfortable with in case you're in the kitchen just find a good area where you can watch or if you're in the bedrooms or in your con- or in your uh, living rooms go ahead there and if you have a companion as well say to the person next to you 
I'm glad that you're here with me. Because we are. We are glad that you're here with us here at uh, Gateway. Now, before we begin, though, this is always a good time to give thanks and uh, give praise. Especially it's a Sunday. It's a good way to start the week. And also a good way to start this particular day for our service. Now, how about we take that time to reflect and to also give thanks. So, let's have a moment where it's going to be intimate and silent. We'll have that moment to pray, give our own prayers, and also we'll see each other in a bit, about one minute or so, and take that time between you and God to reconcile things or to basically get yourselves prepared, especially in your hearts right now. Okay, let's get started right about And welcome back. Thank you very much for doing that. Because this time, I can see that everyone's prepared in both heart and soul. So we're going to celebrate, we're going to worship, and we're also going to basically reflect on what God's going to give us. Now, to get everything started, though, before you stand up or join me, or if in case you want to sit down, keep that there. But before we do, go ahead and get to the worship service. Let's first start with a word of prayer, shall we? Father God, we thank you for this day, for this time. For we have gathered together despite us being distant, despite us being in different locations. Right now, as we tune in, as we prepare, may you find this moment to be a moment of wonder and peace. A moment when we would all celebrate because you are in our midst. Where you are going moving to be glorified and you are going to be raised up. So may you abound this moment. May your presence abound in this place and wherever we are gathered right now. Thank you so much. In Christ's name. Amen. All right. Rise up if you may. Or if you're having a hard time rising up, that's okay. Sit down. That's all right. But make sure to get yourselves limbered up, ready to dance, yeah. ready to sing. Because this time we're going to sing together, we're going to dance together, and I'm going to hand this over to the worship team because they are going to lead us to this service. All right, so let's get it started. Worship team, take it away. Let's sing a song. It's a new era, let it begin. It's untold favor, we're walking in. Your word is spoken, and we believe you pour out blessings.
your praises in this place. We know and we believe that your presence is is in our midst right now. We adore you. We lift your name up, Lord God, in this place. Because of your grace, we can walk confidently in your presence, Lord God. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. As we worship you, Lord God, take us to another level of worship and let your presence, let your love be the highlight in this place, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Jesus.
in the past is enough for us to increase our faith, Lord. We see evidently, Lord God, your move, how you move in our past experiences. We give you glory. Napagtagumpayan po namin yung last year, Lord God. Nasurvive namin lahat ng mga pagsubok na ibinato sa amin. Lord, ano pa bang ebidensya ang kailangan namin para tumaas ang aming pananampalatay, Lord. Father God, remove every bad spirit, Lord God, in our hearts. Any struggles, any circumstances, Lord God, let our faith be increased, Lord God, as we continue to worship you in spirit and in truth. 
our past is enough. Our experiences, trials in the past is enough to give you glory in our present and in the future. So I lift my hands to believe you are my refuge. Yes, Lord God. Because of who Remember what? Sing it again. I lift my hands to believe as I remember the past experiences, Lord. You were always faithful, Lord God. You were always faithful, Lord God. build up our evidences to increase our faith by singing this song. Surely God is alive in this place.
but forever you reign and my soul will find refuge in the shadow of your wings i will love you forever and forever i sing when the world caves in still my hope will cling to your promise
bless you. Come on, church, let's just lift up our voices to the Lord. Come on, just cry out to God. Let your spirit disconnect to the Lord. Reach out to God. I want to sing a song unto God. A hymn of praise. Father, you are the restorer of the broken. That even from amid ashes and ruins, you speak life. That is why today as a church, we look forward to what is ahead. We forget what is behind, oh God. The hurts, the pain, the losses of the year that has been. We leave behind. Today we take a step of faith as we allow faith to arise. We know that as faith arise, ruins would come to life. That is why today, Lord, touch us with your spirit. Touch us with your power. Lord, our silent sighs, our quiet cries, we just lift up to you come on church allow the Lord to heal you right now just allow your heart to be poured out to the Lord come on this is this is ministry time the spirit is here he is moving right now Ooh. Lord just move and meet some us God. thank you Lord thank you Lord Let's all stand and let's pray. Let's acknowledging God's goodness as we commence our service yet again. Father, thank you. Maraming maraming salamat sa iyong kabutihan, Panginoon. And we would like to honor you and give you praise for the things that you have done and for the things that you are yet to do. I pray that you would allow the Holy Spirit to truly touch us and minister to us. And as we have, Lord God, uh, we partook of the communion today. Allow it to be a reminder, a remembrance of your goodness and for the many breakthroughs that are yet to come. We give you all glory and we give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen. <clears throat> and Amen. High five sa kataben. Or just bless them. Amen. All right. Oh. <laughs> na sa giving, JR. <laughs> okay, thank you, JR. Thank you, worship team, for that wonderful time. Very meaningful songs. Amen. How many were blessed? Yeah. yeah. Powerful. Palapakan natin ng Panginoon sa buhay ng ating worship team. Okay. Amen. Parang magkakulay ng buhok si Kuya Daniel sa si JR. <clears throat> I don't know. My voice suddenly became hoarse. I've been like preaching for the last couple of days, teaching, and maybe this is what I get, you know. Pero ganun pa man, alam kong maganda ang ihatid sa ating minsahe ng Panginoon as the Holy Spirit ministers to us, right? At the height of World War II, right after the Japanese began to kind of retreat from their strongholds, one of the bloodiest battle was the Battle of Manila. Probably many of you do not know that. Actually, there was so much devastation in Manila during World War II, sometime in 1945, that kind of made the entire city, rendered it in total ruins. Okay? And probably today, what kind of reminds us of that particular bloody battle would be, you know, of course, one of the oldest port, not port in terms of port us versus ship docks, but fort rather in, and port in the same time as the 
kumbaga, a city within a city, the enclosed wall of Intramuros. No? And in that particular battle, the Japanese would go around the city, barricade oh no, uh, a particular building and fight it with the Americans. And so what the Americans would do would, uh, you know, because this Japanese uh, packets of forces are all kind of held up and they garrisoned themselves, you know, uh, in particular buildings. So what the Americans would do is they would pound those areas, you know, until it is reduced to rubble. So long story short, after all of this particular kumbaga forces left uh, of the Japanese were neutralized, the city of Manila was a smoking ruins. No? What uh, a reminder to us of the scars of war. I remember General Schwarzkopf, you know, in the height of Desert Storm, you know, and uh, when they eventually kind of made the Iraqi surrendered, said this phrase. Sabi niya, war is stupid because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who wins the war, both of the sides will be counting losses. No? But I'm not going to focus on that particular area of, you know, the, the annals of war, but I'm going to talk about today, you know, what it means to bring back the ruins. Today you go down to Man in, uh, down in Manila and you could hardly see the traces of war, of the pain, the scar, lives that were lost. All you see is a thriving metropolis, towering buildings, you know, skyscrapers, you know, kumbaga elevated viaducts, no, and it's just a progressive city today. Who would have thought that a city would still rise from the ashes? Amen, ba? But my point being is this, you know, even in the Old Testament also, in the Bible, we see the Bible talking about ruins coming back to life, right? And today I'm going to talk about resurgent radicals, those that would not, kumbaga, just settle, you know, amid defeat, right? Ito yung mga, mga hindi papayag na hanggang dito na lang, o pwede na yung pwede. How many believes that, the best is yet to come. Amen. Amen. This is the disconnect between Christians and the preacher, right? Why? Because the preacher says, you know, how many believes of revival is yet to come? And I raise my hand and you say, Amen. Amen? <laughs> okay, again, whom, how many believes revival and the best is yet to come? Yan, ganyan. Hindi ko hinihingi Amen nyo. Sabi ko, taas nyo kamay ninyo. Di ba? I would surely ask you to say amen if I would want you to answer amen. But anyway, as we continue on further with this particular thought in mind, gusto ko pong bigyan natin ng pansin, no? You know, um, in the sermon that's actually posted online, you know, I kind of talked about Isaiah, okay? And the Isaiah, kumbaga, chapter, particularly on verse, uh, kumbaga, uh, 19, no? Talks about a new thing. Everybody say new thing. Okay, we just came into the new year, but ito yung tanong ko, you know, we just entered, kumbaga, 2023, right? Right, did you even notice? Come on, did you even notice? Right, uh, when new year came, my wife and I kind of went around a little bit, you know, we took the kids to a lunch out, and we were surprised, we were surprised, there were very few people roaming around. Di ba? Parang sabi namin, ay, sa wakas nag na rin yung mga bisita. What a release. But came January 3, and they're all back. <laughs> right? Sabi ko sa asawa ko, hindi, I think my theory is this, that they were so drunk in January, on, right? Right in the new year, that they slept the day and woke up January 3. All right? But anyway, my point being is this. Okay? Tanongin nyo. Okay? Tanongin nyo katabi mo. Convince ka ba na New Year na? Diba? Buti pa yung, yung taon nagbabago. Oh, ikaw sabi mo, uh, the New Year has come. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, what new came to you? Diba? Ano, may bagong panahon, may, may bagong taon, pero sa'yo may bago ba? Now, I'd like us to look at this. Sabi niya ito, remember, sabi niya na, not the former things, okay? Okay? But consider the things you know, of old. 
Behold, ano sabi doon? I am doing what? A new thing. Right? E, e, alam nyo, I want you to be specific. What new thing? New thing. So, ano, ano yung bagong bagay na gusto nyo makita sa buhay nyo ngayon? 2023. Have you ever tried prophesying to yourself? And this year, I'm gonna venture into self-improvement. Right? I'm gonna venture into greater task. You know, I would like to believe that as I walk in obedience to the Lord, that business is gonna be better. Amen? Because we do not operate in the economies of men, but we operate on a heavenly economy. Amen ba? At ito po yung napangalit. Sabi, I'm making a new thing. Sabi niya, now it springs forth. Ito yung gusto ko. Ano ibig sabihin, Tita Norma, no, makinig ka sa hindi, makita mo sa hindi, Edger, no? it will come. Sisibol siya. It springs forth. Right? Tama ba? I mean, what's, what's good with the, the first day of the year or the first quarter of the year, it's often recognized as spring. You know? Tama? Tagsibol. Amen. May ibig sabihin, after a frigid season, after a season of cold and decay, then comes a new season of life. Di ba? No, tinan mo yung katabi mo, sabi mo, parang, dapat new year, new life. Di ba? Parang, parang may new year, wala ka namang life. Tama ba? Di ba? Kasi na, we were just conversing, si parang June, no? we were just conversing and meron kami yung mga mga fetish niya ni eh. yung mga mga bagay na pag pinag-usapan namin hindi mapuputol kagaya ng sapatos no etc etc ano yung, yung bawat may kanya-kanya tayong hilig eh di ba at least kami mahilig lang kami sa sapatos hindi sa babae right so at least okay na yun di ba my point of the matter is this oh, I, i couldn't believe i even said that right anyway <laughs> Sabi niya, dito ng Panginoon, I am making a new thing. It will come forth. And ito maganda doon. It will come forth. And just in case, hindi mo alam. Sabi niya, ano yun? I will make a way. Make a way. Right? Sabi niya, it will spring forth. And sabi niya, do you not perceive it? I will make a way. Right? Okay, sabi mo sa katabi mo, Uy, God will make a way daw. Di ba? God will make a way, you know, yung, yung mga dati, yung mga nalugi mong business, huwag ka magdala, kalimutan mo na yun. God will make a way. Di ba? Yung mga hindi nagbabayad sa'yo, kalimutan mo na mga yun. Di ba? Ang Diyos ang magbabayad sa'yo. Amen? Amen. Come on. Business that, that kind of bellied up, you know, relationship that flopped, ventures that did not succeed, don't worry. God is gonna make a way. And I hope our technical team will make a way so that I can see my... Thank you. Okay. And dito makikita po natin dito, ano? Uh, back in the nine, uh, sometime 18th century, I think, to be specific, you know, what is commonly called as the Florentine Renaissance, right? You know, where the guys like Michelangelo was made famous, okay? Ito yung panahon ng tinatawag na Renaissance period, right? And what is Renaissance all about? If there's one thing about the word Renaissance, you know, it's... Kumbaga, it's a time of revert. Right? Tama? It's a time of revert. It is, ibig sabihin, you know, after a long period of decay, after a long period of lull and dullness and non-existence of life, life comes. Amen? Life comes. Okay? So, dito sa pagkakataon natin, it is a season of rebirth and resurgence. Big word, resurgence. Well, the word resurgence can be interchangeably, you know, used, you know, between the word revival and resurgence. They are almost the same in meaning. Ang ibig sabihin ng resurgence o ng revival is bringing back something that is dead to life. I, we, we could use some resurgence right here, right now. Right? So, yung masakata mo, okay ka pa. Kailangan mo talaga ng revival ka mo. Di ba? Alam niyo pag medyo yung pigang-piga na yung utak mo, wala ka nang maiisip, parang kulang ka na sa talino, kailangan mo ng resurgence, right? Ama? Our, our relationship that is dull, you're dating, you're going out, but really, you, I mean, you go to a, you know, a table for two on the dining area, you're looking at your spouse, and actually, the next thing you bring out is your phone. 
and you're more engrossed with your phone and the latest post than what's happening with your spouse. You could use some revival. Sabi, parang biglang tumahimik, no? Sige nga, tingnan nyo nga yung mga sweetheart ninyo. Ano ba? No? Parang naririnig nyo si Sharon Kaneta kumakanta sa likuran, Kung tayo'y matanda na. Di ba? Ang sagot ng lalaki sana, hindi na tayo tumanda. Di ba? Kasi baka pag tumanda na ako, di ba, makalimutan kita, right? But the point of the matter is, look at this. I'd like to talk about the book of Haggai. Now, alam nyo, if, if there's something na hindi natin masyadong binibigyan ng pansin, at kadalasan, these are the prophets, you know, that are actually counterparts or actually in the same timeline, si Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, Ezra, Nehemiah, you know, we consider them as minor prophets, you know. They're called minor prophet, prophets, not because they were like minor in terms of consideration. The only reason why they're called minor, because the writing in terms of the chapters that they wrote were short. Kaya minor, konti lang, no? Pero their importance in their time and in their season was equally significant. Why? Because they are called post-exilic prophets. Ibig sabihin, they were, they were the remnant, right? Sila yung mga tita ay bumalik galing sa exile from Babylon. And when they came back, what they saw, what they, they parang Nehemiah, his heart broke because why? Because the walls were broken down. Every, everywhere is in ruin. It's in ruins, right? So, dito po makikita natin, pero, you know, I remember this particular verse in the book of Haggai on chapter 2, verse 9, basahin natin, sabi niyo, the glory of the present, okay, sabi niyo dito, house will be grander or greater than the glory of the former house, says the Lord. Amen? Sabi niya, and this, ano yung place, I will, come on, everybody grant, peace declares the Lord Almighty. Now, bakit hindi prosperity? Uh, bakit hindi provision tita? But peace. Now you have to understand, back in the day, you know, people could wish that they will always live in peace. Why? Because if the land was, kumbaga, unsettled, it's unpeaceful. You know, raiders, band of raiders and bandits would raid the farms and, 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 and lay it waste. After they have looted everything, they burned the farms. Right? Pero man, it's so good to live in peace. Right? Amen. Amen. When you can do business in an honest manner and nobody's cheating. Right? When you have spouses who are faithful to their spouse. When you have children that are honoring their parents. You are living in a time of peace. Sino gusto ng ganyan? Taas ang kamay. Hindi ko siya. Sino gusto? Come on. Pay attention guys. Right? How many wants a time of peace? Diba, ano, ano sabi niya, Gloria in excelsis Deo, and to men of goodwill, peace on earth. You see, peace is the prime commodity of the day. Right? That's why it's important to have walls back in the day because it protects you from hordes of, kumbaga, invaders, right? Because pag may wall, no? Parang June, no? Merong may assurance that there's peace, there's security. Now, let me propose this. Let me just kind of propose this, okay? It's, a time to enter a season of revival, restoration, and release. Woo! Di ba? Sinong gusto makawala na sa mga bayarin? Amen. Sinong gusto makawala na? Huwag sa asawa ninyo. Ha? Makawala na sa mga bagay na pumipigil sa inyo. Amen? How many wants to have yung, you know, kumbaga nga, yung, no, I feel good. Yung gano'n, no? Parang, man, you're happy, right? You wake up in the morning and nasarap gumising sa umaga pag may mainam na dahilan at gigising ka at, you know, hindi mo kinakailangan magmadali kasi alam mo, you are, you are in control of the day. You don't need to work extra overtime kasi alam mo, bayad mo ng lahat ng dapat mong bayaran. Amen? Tama ba? Ang mga bata may pang-tuition. Amen? May pagkain sa pagkainan. May pang-shopping si Mrs. Di ba? Tama? Come on! 
Parang hindi kayo masaya. Parang hindi nyo kailangan ng release, no? O hanggang ngayon, kumakanta kayo, Please release me, let me go. Ay, come on! When the hour comes, and the presence of God inhabits His people, the first thing that happens there will be revival. Ano yung ibig sabihin? There will be the rekindling of the hearts, the coming back to life. Right? Because when the ruins, look at that, come to life. Right? Get a song in the beauty of His name. Rising up from the ashes. Come on. Lord, forever you reign. A wonderful song. Right? Amen? That's a picture of revival. And alam nyo, the Lord will not just revive you. The Lord will restore you. You will recover those that you've lost. Amen? Maybe not the same, but guaranteed better. Right? And so, experience release. Amen ba? Now, I remember Reinhard Niver who said this. Sabi niya, God, no? No? Grant me the serenity. Remember this, the serenity prayer to accept the things, ano, I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Kasi alam niyo minsan, meron tayong tendency ipagpilitan yung gusto natin. Hindi naman natin kaya. Now remember Craig Ruscello said, you know, there are times and opportunities, sabi niya, if you want to see genuine innovation, sometimes the Lord will box you in. Tama? Tama? Sometimes the Lord will box you in in order for Him, okay, to raise you up. Tama? Sino sa atin yung last year feeling nyo parang pinagsusukluban kayo ng langit at lupa, right? Yung parang, Parang board na board na nga ako, parang lungkot na lungkot ako, tas ganito pa nangyayari, parang wala lang, this is it. Di ba? Yung lasa nung kinain nyo, parang nung tinapay na kinain nyo sa communion ngayon. Right? Di ba? Excited kayo. But that's an unleavened bread that even came, you know, from a special place, right? It came from Israel. So just, just, just so you know. Yeah, oh, meron, meron Holy Spirit sa gilid ko. It's, it's a Passover food. So, I hear the Holy Spirit over here. I hear the second Holy Spirit over here. And that's my wife, right? So, yeah, so you, 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 you listen to your wife because a happy wife, a happy life, okay? Now, anyway, understand one thing, okay? Ito yung maganda. Let's go to the main text of the day, Ezra. Alaan nyo, ang sarap parang lumuluwa yung mga tanyo pag nakakita kayo ng mga verses na hindi nyo madalas nababasa. No? Ezra. Let's look at Ezra. I love this, this verse. Read, read along with me. But now, sabi dito, okay? Okay? For a brief moment, the Lord our God has been gracious in in leaving us, you know, our remnant. Stop. God is gracious. Bakit? Kasi hindi tayo naubos. God has left a remnant. Sabi mo, congratulations. Buhay ka pa. Dalawang taon ng COVID. Andito ka pa. Di ba? Di ba? Yung iba, pumanaw sa COVID. Yung iba, sumakabilang church. Right? Pero ikaw, grabe, andito ka pa rin. Amen? Tama? So makikita po natin dito. Okay? No, when sabi nga lang, when the tough gets going, the going or the going gets tough, the tough gets going, right? And sabi nito, I leave before you what? A remnant. I love that. Okay? And giving them a firm place in his ano yon, sanctuary. And so our God, I love this, okay? Sabi niya, gives light to to our eyes. I love that. And what? Stop, stop. Alam nyo, napaka-significant. No? That's a very scientific thing. Sabi nyo, our God gives light to our eyes. Parang, anong connection nun? Alam nyo ba na your ability to see is proportion to the amount of light available? Ibig sabihin, kaya ka hindi nakakakita because walang ilaw na pumapasok sa iyong mga mata. Ibig sabihin, the brighter, the better you see. Kaya pag madalim, madilim, para kang manok, arap ka, di ba? Hindi mo makita yung nasa harap mo, right? But look at this, sabi niya, the Lord provides you the light to what? Huh? For your eyes. 
Anong ibig sabihin? He gives you vision. He gives you the ability to see. And this particular light, sabi niya dito, Though we are slaves, our God has not what? Forsaken us in our bondage. Okay? He has what? Shown us kindness in the sight of the kings of Persia. Ibig sabihin, in the, in the world that is around us. And sabi niya, ano dito? He's third. Come on. No? He has granted us what? I love that. He has granted us what? New life. New life. Church, come on, say it. New life. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, bagong buhay. Amen? Amen? Bago yung bahay. Hindi naman nagbago yung buhay. Salot pa rin. Di ba? Saan nyo kadalasan, I'm invited to dedicate a, a car, dedicate a business, dedicate a house. Pero alam nyo, rhetorical yun eh. Blessed na yung mga yun eh. Blessing nga yun eh, di ba? Ang problema, kahit na blessed mo yung kotse, kahit na i-bless mo yung bahay, kung yun naman nakatira doon, hindi blessed. Magdadala pa rin ng malas. Amen? Pero anong pangako ng Lord? Sabi niya, I have blessed you. Amen? Amen? So, alam nyo, let's talk about the catalyst of the day. No? Ano yung catalyst? Catalyst is a word in chemistry wherein, you know, one chemical, a catalyst actually is a chemical, you know, that is uh, causing, kumbaga, the expediting of a process. Ibig sabihin, napapabilis niya yung pagtuyo, pagtigas, o kung ano mang bagay para mapabilis yung isang proseso, right? So, you know, many leaders and, and pastors and would use the word catalyst to refer to change agents. And actually, in, in, in a sense, Christians ought to be catalysts. Diba? Na amid decay, we bring revival. Tama? Amen ba? And you have to understand, sometimes, these catalysts are usually radical. Alam nyo sila yung mga individuals that do not settle for the ordinary. Sila yung mga hindi pwede yung pwede na. To them, excellence is the name of the game. Amen? They would not stop until they make sure that they have the best to offer. And you have to understand that the very, the very kumbaga, epitome, a representation of a really, really potent catalyst was Jesus. We were all infested by sin, right? And He came and He allowed Himself to be ruined that you might have life. Amen? It's a radical approach, right? Amen? No, in the olden times, in order for you to be forgiven from your sin, you have to offer a sacrifice. Jesus came and offered himself as a once and for all sacrifice. That is radical. Amen? Amen ba? Everybody say radical. radical. In short, today, God, God is going to use a lot of radical individuals. Right? Be individuals with a revolutionary mindset. You know, they, they think out of the ordinary as long as, you know, for the cause and the advancement of the kingdom. Now, when we talk about this, the word, okay, kung titignan po natin dito, the word reform is also actually synonymous to the word revival. Right? Tama ba? Because when real change happened, I remember, you know, back in the day, you know, in one of his interview, okay, the Reverend, the late Reverend uh, Billy Graham, one of the famous and celebrated, you know, uh, kumbaga, uh, evangelist of the 70s, you know, until the late 90s. Makikita po natin, sabi niya, everywhere I go, sabi niya, okay, I find that people, both, sabi niya, leaders and individuals are asking, you know, ano yung, ano yung tinatanong nila? Is there hope? Okay? Is there hope for this, for peace, you know, in this generation? Okay? And ang sagot niya, yes, there is. And where will the hope come from? comes from the Lord Jesus who is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen? Amen? Hindi po napasay what God has done and can do. The Lord is constantly at work. Amen? So, kung titignan po natin dito, understand one thing. Everybody read this with me. Okay? Tragedy in life, okay, normally comes when one, okay, exchanges God-given calling Okay, to the lure of compromise and worldly accolades. Right? 
Ano ibig sabihin? No? Nasilaw ka na, nakalimutan mo na, di ba? Yun ang, yun ang temptation. Right? And even Jesus continued to warn. Sabi niya, you cannot love God and money. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, for the most part of it, okay, the world is constantly calling, beckoning, enticing us to come. And if we are not careful, okay, we come to a point that we love the world more than we love God. Today, we are operating or experiencing, kanina ang ganda ng kwento nga namin ni JR about culture shift. So I was talking to him about different predictor items now when it comes to research, na when it comes to generational changes and gaps, it is no longer kumbaga, measured in terms of age. Okay? Age group, no? But rather, it is more now interest-based. Anong ibig sabihin? Hindi kinakailangang magkaedad tayo. Basta magkapareho tayo ng hilig. We can be belonging to the same culture. Amen? So, hindi pagdating sa young people, hindi na kung sino yung 13 to 15, you know, 16 to 18, hindi na. Pinag-uusapan is whether from 16 to 35, ang pinag-uusapan is, gusto mo mag-cosplay? Gusto mo ba ng tabletop games? Diba? Gusto mo ba ng, ano ba gusto mo, ML o, diba? Clash of Clans, yung gano'n, no? Diba? Ano ba nilalaro mo? Of course, alam nyo na yung mga kaedad namin, Candy Crush lang talaga. Okay, gano'n, gano'n, no? Come on! Diba? But if you're good at what you do, you know, kung ikakumpara mo yung tinatawag natin comparison in terms of kung baga levels and achievements, okay, saka na doon sa level mo. Diba? Ako, I just play. I don't care about the level. But sometimes they would ask me, Pastor, ano ba level mo sa Candy Crush? Sabi ko, 6,195. And sabi niya, I stopped at 100. Right? Well, it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, sabi mo sa katabi mo, you are enticed by something. How many will agree with me? Come on. Sino sa atin yung pahirapan mag-diet? Diba? Ayan, sige. Sabi nyo, sige, ngayon lang, ngayon lang, ngayon lang, December hanggang January 1. Talagang pagkatapos ng January or ng January 1, when January 1 strikes, magda-diet na ako. Sino yung hanggang ngayon nahihirapan kayo? Taas ang kamay. Taas ang kamay. Kayo mag-ala. Diba? Sa totoo lang, right? Diba? I told my wife, I think in the middle of December or towards the new year, I said to her, I have a problem. Sabi ko, because sabi ko, yung binili kong suit ko for yung bago kong coat and tie, sabi ko, was just right when I bought it. But towards the season and the holidays, you know, nung kinasal ko si Mikael, hindi nakasya sa akin. So, sabi ko na lang, at, at least that's biblical, siksik, liglig, at umaapaw. But come to think of it, right? Come to think of it, changes come. Whether you welcome them or not. However, changes are not always changed for the good. Amen? How many would agree with me na, you know, we struggle when change comes. Okay? So, kung makikita po natin dito, may isang bagay na kailangan natin maintindihan. Now, this is one thing that's very, very significant. Okay? Number one is, sabi niya, if you want to see, how many wants to see revival and ruins coming back to life? Come on. Oh, now me, raise your hands. Really? Like, tanong yung katayong mo, talaga? Sure ka? Dici dito ka talaga? Right? Now, you have to understand, there are a couple of things that you need to remember. In the book of Ezra, and even in, towards the book of Nehemiah, because magka counterpart yan, magka-asunod yan eh. You know, of course, Nehemiah came, and then, you know, Zerubbabel for the building of the temple, and as they were building the temple, after the temple has been done, dedicated, Ezra came to remind the people of, you know, the precepts of the law. But the point of the matter is, ito yung kailangan natin intindihin, no? A upon the completion of the temple, Okay, now, by the way, let's, let's go uh, to the very essence and representation of the temple. Everybody say temple. The temple is not centered around the structure. Okay? The real purpose of the temple is for God to inhabit it. Ibig sabihin, Edger, walang kwenta yung temple kung wala naman doon ang presensya ng Diyos. Amen? And remember, in the New Testament, ang temple, hindi yung physical building, ang temple is you. According to Paul, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit and the no, Spirit of God dwells within you. Right? Right? Kaya yung iba, sabi nila, kasi malalaki sila, sabi nila, I am very hospitable. Because, you know, 
'di ba? Kung kayo temple, ako arena. 'Di ba? Talagang maraming ginagalawan si Lord sa loob ko kasi mal- malaki ako eh. Parang ganun. Okay. Now, accordingly, we have to understand what makes the temple temple because the presence of God is there. Take away the presence of the Lord, it's useless. Ganun ka rin. Kung wala ang presensya ng Lord sa buhay mo, sino ka? Right? Ito ngayon yung masarap. Everyone should consider that the main objective is that we make sure that the presence of God is always welcome in our midst. And one of the precursor, everybody say precursor, of God's presence, if it's been the inviting okay, element, is an atmosphere of praise. Alam niyo, minsan hindi natin naiintin na, kala natin, pag kumakanta tayo, pag Sunday, kumakanta lang tayo, parang nagkakaraoke lang tayo, no? Para, you know, para lang, you know, parang yung, ano ba tawag nila dyan? Parang pang pa-warm up. Amen ba? I mean, you have to understand, sabi niyo, when we lift, no, and magnify the Lord amid our challenges, okay, we actually find ourselves Secured. Bakit? Kasi, kasi when we worship, just like the Bible said, God inhabits the praises of His people. When you worship, God's glory comes down or comes down. Now, prior to the time of the Holy Spirit, you know, prior to the coming of the Holy Spirit as manifested in, and recorded in the book of Acts chapter 2, back in the day, Okay, they know that the presence of God is amid the temple because it is seen through a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of cloud by fire. But there are special occasions. Okay, and I know many of you probably have named your, 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 your daughters this. You know? But there are special occasions, especially like that in the dedication of the temple of Solomon that God was so pleased that the Shekinah glory of God came down and filled the temple. Right? Nasabi that the ministers could not minister anymore because the presence of the Lord in the form of a cloud nagkaroon ng fog sa loob ng temple. Come on. Well, I'd like to believe it because they were too much overwhelmed by the very presence of God that they could not stand. Right? Tama? Parang, parang ngayon lang yata narinig itong mga ganitong usapan, no? Jehoshaphat. Okay? As, you know, the tribe of Judah, they were surrounded by the enemy. And they know they are most likely gonna be defeated because the enemy was so vast. And so, Jehoshaphat and with the priest inquired of the Lord. And the Lord said, tomorrow by this time, Gather the people. Go to the place of the battle. But do not bring weapons. Rather bring instruments of praise. And worship the Lord. And when you see the enemy come before you, worship the Lord. And so it was so that when they worshiped the Lord, the enemy was scattered. Ano sabi ng Panginoon? Because the battle is mine, says the Lord. So every time we actually invite the presence of God and magnify Him in return, God does not only inhabit our fellowship, but the Lord fights for us. Amen? Amen? Tama? Tama? Yung iba sa atin, alam nyo, minsan lalo na pag hindi nyo na alam kung anong gagawin nyo. Gulong-gulo na kayo. I remember, you know, during my darkest, literal darkest time last year, when I was about to go to my surgery, I could not see, you know. And even after the surgery, I could not see still. And for a week, I was wallowing in darkness, you know. And I thought that was it, right? I was really scared. And after telling that story, JR Natua, ano sabi niya, now you know my world, right? And wala akong makita. Kala ko that's it. I could not see anymore. But amid my worries, Diba? Come on. I worship. Amen? I worship. Songs, song songs like, Sing unto the Lord, Make a joyful sound, Lift your voices, Let your praise resound. 
Sing a victory song, right? In the times of war, trust in Jesus. The battle is the Lord's. Come on, right? I mean, prophesy to yourself. Amen? Parang si David, di ba? Talagang feeling niya, he was so down. And then he, he said to himself, why so downcast? Oh, my soul. Preach to yourself. Di ba? Put your hope in God. Face the mirror and say, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands and praise the Lord. Ama? Uh-huh. Sabi, namamalat na ako. Sumagot naman kayo. Come on. Bakit pag nag-alala ka ba, masosolve ba yung problema mo? Alam nyo, it's so difficult. It's, it's heavy. I could not, I could not imagine what Cyril was going through when, when Marlo was in the ICU. Tapos ngayon, no, kasama niya si Marlo. No? Okay. Nagkaroon ng sort of an aneurysm si Marlo. Okay, nagkaroon ng blood clot. Rushed to the ICU. I was talking to him the Sunday before that. The following day, he was stroked. Di ba? Ay, alam nyo naman, di ba? Yung mga nai-stroke, pagbalik, ganito na. Di ba? Sabi, kita ko si Marlo kanina pa. Nung kinausap ko, tumayo pa eh. Ano? Come on. Because the battle is the Lord's. Right? Diba? Si Tita Bell. Diba? Battling cancer. Lately pronounced cancer-free. Oh. Come on. Gusto niyo ba sila lang? Hindi ko naman sinasabing may stroke kayo at maka- magka-cancer kayo. Pero, come on. Yung iba sa inyo, jowa lang. Halos mamatay na kayo. Ayoko na mabuhay. Kung hindi rin lang siya, ayoko na. <laughs> di ba? Bakit sino bang gusto mong jowain? Yung lead singer ng BTS. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> di ba? Tawag doon tama. Sabi ko, ganda talaga pag may second na Holy Spirit. Hallucination daw yun. Alright? But understand this. Declaring what? Okay? That the Lord is sovereign. Okay? That the Lord is sovereign over every situation precedes victory. Ibig sabihin, huwag kayong magpuri pag nakuha nyo na yung tagumpay. Bago pa kayo magtagumpay, nagpupuri na kayo. Amen? Amen? Hindi pa kayo natatanggap sa trabaho. Nagtatides ka na sabihin, Lord, tinatides ang kundesyon ko kasi, Lord, akin na itong trabaho ito. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Amen. Naalala ko nun si Kuya Daniel. Si Kuya Daniel, ano yung professional yan. Graduate yan ng business administration. Eh. Pero namamasukan siya, Tito Norma. No? Doon sa isang eskwelahan, no? actually, para lang siyang janitor doon. Eh. Tagabili, taga, purchasing ng mga ga, mga pagkain, etc. etc. Diba? Naalala ko yan. Diba? Dumangan ako doon, pinara niya ako. Sabi niya, pasas na ka papunta. Eh, papunta lang ako doon sa karawa sa tabi. Sabi niya, kasi pupunta ako ng bukaw ka, di ba pa, pa, papunta kang seminary? Nag-prophesy sa pupuntahan ko. <laughs> di ba? Eh, siyempre, nagdalanghiya naman lang ako. Eh, di sige. Pagdating namin doon sa ano, bababa na lang siya doon sa may magsaysay. Nangusap pa ang banal na spirito. Sabi niya, yung dapat pang mo, bigay mo na lang sa kanya. Grabe naman, Lord. Pang ko na nga, ano. 150 na lang. Ihinatid ko na nga. Bibigyan ko pa. Eh, makikinig ka sa Panginoon. Bibinigay ko. Amen ba? Amen. Di ba? Ngay- ngayon, baligtad na. Siya na nagpapa, di ba, magdi-deliver sa bahay. Tutok-tok, meron akong long dyan. Di ba? Tama? Di ba? Alam niyo siya? Nag-apply siya sa City Hall. Ano ba? No? Apat, parang ilan sila? Apat yata sila doon. No? Tapos yung tatlo na candidate doon sa ina-apply niya. Puro taga City Hall na. Yung dalawa, kumbaga, kumbaga alaga pa ng incumbent mayor. Di ba? Siya baguhan. Tapos wala siyang experience. Tapos nung pinasubmit siya ng certificate, wala pang training, leadership certificate. Alam mo sinabit niya, encounter God, retreat na certificate? Certificate? Certificate niya dito sa church? No? Kasi nag-attend siya ng, ng retreat. Binagbigay kami ng certificate. No? Wala naman siyang ginawa sa retreat kundi nag-iiyak. No? Tama? No? 
Muntakin mo yun lang ang sinabihin yung certificate. Siya pa yung natanggap. Come on, why? The battle is the Lord's. Guys, start your year believing that the battle is the Lord. Pagising nyo pa lang sa umaga, nag-praise na kayo. Kung hindi kayo makapag-praise, magpatugtog na kayo. Di ba? Have your playlist. Di ba? Come on, ang problema nyo, unang yung pinapakinggan si ano eh. Si, si Kuya Kim, tatanungin nyo kung ano ang weather, kung, kung ano ang horoscope, astrology sign ninyo, ano ba ang, ang forecast para sa mga Pisces, Gemini, Cancer. Come on! Di ba? Eh, pastor, hindi ako suswertihin ngayon kasi Sagittarius ako. <laughs> Alam mo, pag naniwala ka sa malas, hindi ka suswertihin. O baka pag naniwala ka sa swerte, baka malasing ka. Kaya huwag ka na maniwala sa swerte at malas. Manaw, maniwala ka na lang na pinagpala ka. Because that's the power of praise. That's the power of praise. When the ruins come to life. Right? Nalala niyo yung nakita ni Ezekiel na valley of dead bones? Ano ba? Sabi niya doon, prophesy to the bones. And sabi niya, when he prophesied and spoke life to the bones, the bone began to rattle. Diba? And it became, you know, it came together and, and flesh came into it and it became a mighty army. God can bring life even to the most dead situation. Kaya may good news ako sa'yo. You will come to life. Amen? Amen ba? Now you are a leader. You are a leader maybe not of a company, of a church, but you are the leader of your life. And you are a leader, and, and as a leader, sabi niya, it is your job to keep your passion hot. Okay? Do whatever you have to do. Okay? Read whatever you have to read. Amen? Go, know wherever you need to go. Okay? To stay fired up. Okay, huwag sabihin si pastor kasi yung preaching niya hindi relevant sa akin eh. Hindi kasi yung church namin ganito eh. Di ba? Huwag nung sisihin yun. Kasi responsibilidad mo na panatiliing, okay, mainit ka. Amen? So let's go on further with this. Understand one thing. The second thing is, in, in, in that particular, you know, ruins to life thing, you have to understand this, the promise of prophecy. Prophecy is actually not just about you telling what is gonna happen in the future, but the real objective of prophecy is to give you hope. Remember Jeremiah? One of the favorite prophecy utterances of Jeremiah would probably be the part that says, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans of peace. Again, there's the word peace and not of evil. Okay? To give you a very good future. Amen? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, excited ako sa'yo. Maganda pala ang kinabukasan mo. Di ba? Kaya lang, ang sama ng ugali na. <laughs> Kaya lang, ang sama ng pagmumukha mo. Di ba? Marami, ang ganda ng kinabukasan mo. Lagi ka nakasibangot. Amen? Pag sumibangot ba kayo, gaganda mundo? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, pag sumibangot ka, pangit mo. <laughs> di ba? Mukha kang nilupak. <laughs> di ba? So, makangita po natin ito, okay? Understand one thing, the promise of what hope is this, the glory of God, no, God's latter working being, ano yon? Greater and, come on, parang wala akong kasama nagbabasa, than that of the former. In short, everybody, read it aloud. Uh, alam nyo, parang walang darating sa inyong best. No, and that is your beast. Beast, beast friend, beast, beast man. No? Okay? Everybody say, the best is yet to come. Best is yet to come. Sino excited? Oh, kaya mamaya, pag nagbigay kayo ng offering, dapat the best din. Huwag niyo sabihin, Pastor, wala pa eh. The best is yet to come. Eh? Di ba? Di ba? Gusto mo ng the best is yet to come, magtalim ka ng the best. 
Amen ba? Lagi na lang natin binibigyan si Lord ng bigatin. Alam niyo yun? Laging bariya binibigay niyo. Di ba bigat ng bariya? Kayo nga, ayaw yun na may bariya eh. Di ba? Pag nagbumili kami ng asama ko minsan, alam bakit yung bariya? Kasi nakakasira ng bulsa. Nakakagasgas ng telepono. Di ba? Tama? Tama kung kayo nga ayaw yun ng bariya eh. Come on. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, gusto mo ba ng latak? Sino gusto ng latak na pagpapala? Tira-tira. Maghain ka ng mga katanggap-tanggap na hain. Amen? Da? Tama talaga. Kasi kung hindi kayo tatama, may tama kayo. Okay? Understand this. The assurance of the word. What's the assurance of the word? When the prophetic utterances of truth. Okay? It's spoken. I love this. Because in the Old Testament, no, tita, when the prophets speak, they are the spokesmen of God. And they have the power to speak blessing and cursing. Amen? Kaya kung titignan natin doon in Ezra chapter, ano yan? 6 verse 14. Ano po ang sabi dyan? No? Says that, okay, the Jews prospered through the prophesying of Haggai, the prophet, and Zechariah, the son of Okay, sabi niya, and Haggai, Zechariah, were actually post-exilic prophets who we consider minor. Ito kasi ang problema, meron tayong konting ano, eh, mistreatment of, uh, kasi ano yan, minor prophet. Hindi kasi, yan yung mga prophet that talks about the doom that's coming. Alam niyo, tingin natin sa kanila na sa mga prophet, prophet of doom eh. Pero hindi natin nakikita na yung ihinahayag nila, meron namang solusyon. Amen ba? Tama? Parang si Prophet Malakay, tingin natin kay Malakay, ano, Solicitor General, no? Lagi na lang pag Malakay ang pumasok sa isip niya, tithes in offering. Pero hindi niyo ba alam na one of the greatest promises was in the book of Malakay na sabi niya, and then, okay, the sun, S-U-N, of righteousness with healing on its wings will shine on you and bring forth healing. Right? Come on! Tama ba? And God is reconciling, sabi niya, the, the, the fathers, to the sons. There's a message of reconciliation, reconciliation and a message of healing. Pero tingin natin kay Malakay, hindi all dapper si Malakay eh. Kasi muntakin nyo, pag hindi tayo nag-tight, magnanakaw dan tayo. Eh, totoo naman, di ba? Taking something that does not belong to you is thievery. Amen? That's why not giving your tights, not giving back to God what belongs to Him makes you a thief. Amen? So kung titignan po natin, the promise of prophecy is this, no? The promise of prophecy is allowing God's word to take root in your life. Because God's word is life. Amen? And ang sabi ng Lord, I'm doing a new thing. Hallelujah. Kaya alam nyo, <clears throat> when this year came, I'm so excited. Lord, you're doing a new thing. Ano kaya yung new thing? Ah, in a couple of months, sasabihin naman natin dito tayo na, lilipat na tayo. Alam niyo masarap dito? Tayo pa tinatanong, magkano ang gusto niyo? Di ba? Wow! Wow, sabi namin dito tayo na, sige, huwag na maabusado, huwag naman piso, may nagsabi 500. Sino? Di ba? Right? Di ba? Pag-pray natin. Right? God willing, by February, we move to our new place. Mas malapit sa town. Amen? Amen? Why? Because we're believing God for new things. Amen? And it's not only something that we kind of hype ourselves with. It's a prophecy. God is bringing restoration to His people. Amen po ba? And I'm excited to understand this. Hard-fought leadership, sabi nito, works for the grander vision, sacrifices and works with passion, and leaves something beautiful behind. Amen? God is going to use you in your generation. God is going to use you to usher in great things. Amen ba? How many are excited for greater things? <clears throat> Amen? So, ang ganda no, no? Kala mo ruins ka na. No? Kala mo nawala ako. Laki nang nawala ako. Grabe, parang nawala na ako. Parang wala akong ministry. Hindi. Parang wala akong... Come on. 
Sino sa atin, dumating tayo sa point na parang, parang wala naman, ganun, nasa kamay. Sino yun sa atin, dumating wala naman. Alam niyo, lasin, nagtatanong ko sa Panginoon, Lord, meron ba talaga? Paka naman, pinagpipilitan ko lang ito. Amen? Pero pag nakita mo kumikilos ang Panginoon, Amen? Amen? Wow. I'm excited. I'm excited. Amen? I'm excited to hear from God. Di ba? Because ito yung pinakamalaga. Because the presence of God, no, Edger boy, brings peace. He is Emmanuel. The Lord is with you. The power of praise and the presence of God brings prosperity and peace as prophesied by the prophets. Are you excited? Are you excited? Hindi lang ito, hindi lang to chamba-chamba, Tita Norma, no? Come on, church. <coughs> hindi lang ito <coughs> chamba-chamba in a sense na nagkataon lang. No, no, no. This is something real. Right? Ako titignan nyo yun, no? doon sa background, parang yung picture ng wise men, no? Pero that is just like an artist rendition because in reality, the Bible tells us when the wise men came, they came as a caravan, right? Hindi lang three kings. No? But anyway, I would not dwell on that. But the point is, like these wise men knew that something astrologically is abnormal. There's a star that shone. And they were like led together. You have to understand, they were not dwelling in some, the same place. Sabi nun, these are wise men from the east, meaning they're coming from different places in the east. And chances are, if you know your geography, going to Jerusalem, you know, or in particular Bethlehem at that point in time, you know, you have to cross the Transjordan. It's desert, Tita Aina. Well, no, no crazy person will cross the desert because the desert is so st- Stinky hot in the morning, scorching hot, I should say, in the morning, no? And at the same time, talagang frigid cold in the evening. Kaya gagawa nila, they would call what it's called the Fertile Crescent. Aakit mo sila sa north, okay? Going up to as far as modern-day Turkey, no? And Ephesus and going down, right? To modern-day Syria and down to, right? Israel, right? So, men, they, they sought, they... In, day out. Because they know something is happening. Amen, church? And ang sabi ni Paul, no? The mystery that has been hidden from ages and generation is now revealed to you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. Church, you are so blessed. You are so privileged because who the prophets of old talked about is living in you right now and He's working mightily in your life. Kaya alam nyo kung talagang marirealize mo, you will begin to realize you're invincible because the power that raised Jesus from the dead is the same power that is working in you right now. But the enemy has made you believe and you were deceived into thinking, you're ordinary. Ano namang alam mo? Sino ka? Well, it's time to praise. Di ba? No? That's, that's, that's your cue, you know, to sing, Jesus is the center of it all. Right? Come on. Right? When the enemy questions you. Right? On. I know breakthrough is coming. Come on. By faith, I see a miracle. Come on. Diba? Are you not excited? Ano yung ang hindi excited? Yung hindi excited, yung bukod sa hindi alam yung kanta, hindi alam yung salita ng Diyos, maaring hindi kilala sa Kristo. Right? But the promise a prophecy and the presence of God brings peace. Right? Now, understand one thing. You know, as we almost come to an end. Haggai went on to say, ano sabi niya dyan? Basahin natin. Everybody go. Saying that. Okay. Stop. 
saying God will take the ruins. Come on. When the ruins come to life. Come on. In the beauty of your name. Rising up from the ashes. God forever you reign. Diba? Come on! Yeah. Woo! Grabe. Yung excited, mako, talaga makakatanggap kayo na revival. I mean, come on. I mean, I'm excited, right? Di ba? Tama? Come on! Ang mayang gabi, kantahin nyo ulit yun. Hanapin nyo sa YouTube, kantahin nyo. Pakinggan nyo yung lyrics. Right? Alam niyo, that song is very close to my heart. Because when I was really seeking what God wants to do with our church way back in 2013, could you believe I have, I flew or over, I mean, as far as Singapore to attend a conference and heard that song there for the first time and it ministered to me. And God in a personal way spoke to my life that there's a great thing. Kaya alam nyo, kahit na anong pinagdadaanan natin sa church, lagi ko sinasabi sa Lord, Lord, hindi ko pa nakikita yung pinakita mo sa akin. You prophesied over my soul. Di ba? That is why every time I hear that song, I am reminded, no matter what, when the ruins come to life. Amen? They will come to life. So, tandaan po natin, no? Sabi niya, the drifts, no? Sabi niya, of life, kung titignan natin, no, yung agos ng buhay, okay, the drift of life is towards comfort and safety. However, tandaan natin, sabi dito, you know, if you really want to see revival, tandaan po natin. A greatest encounter will happen when we gravitate towards the Lord. Amen? So as we end, understand this. Let me remind you this. Passion without purpose, sinabi ko doon sa isang youth na gathering na ginawa ko or na I was a speaker, not ginawa ko pala. I was invited as speaker and I said to the young people, passion without purpose is a hype. Now, kahit na puno-puno kayo na energy, talagang passionate kayo, enthusiastic kayo sa ginagawa nyo, pero kung wala yung mainam na dahilan, uso-uso lang yun. At ang uso lumilipas. Diba? Pero ganun pa man, no? pagtanda natin, meron pa tayong mission statement, may purpose statement pa tayo. Pero if your purpose is without passion, it's an illusion. Kasi ang ginasabi mo, gusto ko rin, gusto ko niyan, gusto ko nun, hindi ka naman kumikilos. Bandang uli, wala rin. So as we end, let me challenge you with a couple of things. Understand that intent, not content, that creates respect. Bandang uli, okay? Kahit na ano sinasabi mo, pero kung hindi nakikita sa gawa mo, wala ding maniniwala sa'yo. Amen ba? Because at the end, intention creates your reality. Okay? That inner drive that comes from the Holy Spirit. So friends, no? Realize one thing. Number one, waiting Sabi ito, on God is simply knowing what is God calling you to conquer right now. Alam mo yung minsan, God wants you to conquer self because you're always a slave to you. Right? How many will agree with me? Now when it comes to justifying something as, as simple as buying something, nahanapan natin ng dahilan bakit natin kailangan. Right? Di ba? Wala ako ng bagong ano, ganyan. Hindi kasi kailangan ko talaga eh. Di ba? Oo. Basta ikaw. Nagagawaan mo ng dahilan. Amen? Pero ang problema, pagdating kay Lord, kahit panawagan ni Lord, nagagawaan mo ng palusot. Okay? Pangalawa, understand, God will not call you to a comfortable challenge. Di ba? Because if it's easy, Hindi mo na kailangan si Lord. Di ba? I remember Craig Ruscello said, you can't because you don't. Sabi niya, ito yung elements of 
sabi niya, these are the elements of innovation. Number one is knowing that you can't because you don't. Anong ibig sabihin? Hindi mo kaya, Edger. Diba? It's a great thing. It is so great. I remember Bert Pretorius who said before na, if your dream no, is not scary enough, you know, diba? It's not from God. If your dream does not scare you, then it is not big enough. Amen? Kaya minsan, God will call us dito ay to scary ventures. Diba? Tama? Pero bibigyan din tayo ng wisdom ni Lord. Kasi kagaya yung tanong, ano, kukunin ba natin yung convention center? Kukunin pa ba natin yung lead wall? Di ba? Ang sagot, kung may budget, magkina yung sagot ni Tita Aida. Di ba? 100 lang na registration yun. Di ba? Tanong nyo, sometimes God gives us rational thinking to understand. Don't look at fear. Look at God. Because God is bigger than your fear. And your breakthrough is on the other side of your pain. Amen? Amen? Come on. You can't because you don't. Bukod sa hindi mo kaya, wala kang kakayanan. Wala kang paraan. Diba? You cannot and you do not. But God can. So another element is in, be willing to, to fail. Be willing to fail. It's okay to fail. Remember, it is, it is the attempt that fails. Yung exam ang nag-fail, hindi ikaw. Kasi pwede ka naman mag-take two. O, di ba? Hindi, hindi ikaw yung nag-fail. Yung relationship ang nag-fail. Kasi maaaring masyadong maga, hindi nyo napag-isipang maigi, hindi napagandaan. Right? It's not you that fail. It's the business to fail. Maybe because you're naive. You need experience. But this time you're wiser. Don't be afraid to fail. And finally, increasing passion. Amen? Kahit ano mangyari, game ako dyan, pastor. Join ako dyan. Ampag ako dyan. Karamihan ng mga leaders natin dito, yung mga veterano, kami nila Daniel, dito na pumuti ang buhok namin eh. No? Si Kuya Dodong, hindi lang namuti, naubos na eh. <laughs> yung iba sa atin, no? si Tita Ada nun, sexy, dito na lang tumaba eh. Pareho sila ni Marites, no? My point is, who cares? <laughs> We're in the Lord. We're doing this for the Lord. We're not doing this for ourselves. So church, Look to what is ahead. Revival is here. Amen? Amen? It's time for ruins to come to life. Let's all stand. Come on. Jesus. I want you to raise your hands. Come on. How many here watch Revival? on your life. Come on. Lift your hands. Say, Lord, I need revival. Come on, just speak it. Lord, bring me back to life. I'm ruined, but I know that you can bring me back to life. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for you. Father, I speak breakthrough. I speak life. I speak, Lord, prosperity and increase and promotion over those that are here in this place as far as those that can hear this voice of mine I speak blessing I speak life I prophesy likening into the dead bones to come to life to form a great army and I bind all manners of curses spoken and inherited generational curse I break it in the name of Jesus genetic curses I break it Lord God in the name of Jesus in the form of sickness Lord God Father generations of death I bind it in the name of Jesus and I just release Lord God the anointing of increase 
the anointing of harvest, the anointing of multiplication, the anointing, Lord God, of riches, the anointing of increase over your people. Thank you, Lord. And I just speak it in the name of Jesus and by the power of His blood. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Come on, palapakan natin si Lord. Guys, nakantahin ni JR yung song, The Ruins Come to Life, as a prophet, I mean, prophetic utterance to us, and in return, alam ko, grabe, excited na excited na kayong magbigay. Amen? Because ngayon naman, let the offerings come to life. Di ba? Amen? At alam natin, na dapat ang ating mga buhay na hain ay katanggap-tanggap. Yung ibibigay natin hindi patay. Amen ba? Di ba? Nakakabuhay yung ating mga offering. Nakakabuhay yung ating mga kaloob. Kasi alam nyo bakit? Pastor, so, sino ba man namatay? Di ba? Wala, pero ito yun. Yung mga ibinibigay natin, itinatanim natin yan sa gawain. At yung gawain, nagagamit natin to sa pag-abot pa ng mga maraming hindi nakakakilala sa Panginoon. So in short, nagbibigay kayo ng pagkakataong buhayin ng mga patay. Amen? Amen ba? Patay sa kaluluwa. Amen? Patay sa kasalanan. Pero da- dahil sa ating, kumbaga, nag-uumapaw at dalisay na pagbibigay, nabubuhayan sila. Dahil hinatidan natin sila ng mga kaloob na nangmumula sa Diyos sa pamamagitan ng magandang balita. Amen? So, how many are excited? How many are ready to give? Amen. Let's give to the Lord. Amen. So, switch natin yung ating house lights para makapagbigay tayo. Hindi daw tayo aalis hanggang hindi natin napupuno. No? At kung mapuno man, meron pa. Rising up from the ashes 
God, forever you reign, and my soul will find refuge in the shadow of your wings. I that truth except that we know that whatever happens we will never walk a journey through life alone because squalls may come troubles may be before us but the battle is the Lord's raise your hands let me speak benediction upon you and after this we're just gonna flash the announcement on screen and just take note of it and after which we're dismissed, right? I pray that the love of God, our Father, the ever-increasing grace of Jesus Christ, His only Son, and the constant communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Go in peace, and may the God of peace be with you. And everybody say it. Amen. And amen. Thank you for that wonderful message, Dr. Saul, and thank you, everybody, for joining us today. This is now the end of the service, and I think we are ready to head out, but before we do that, we have some things to look forward to with this week. Now, every time we go for a service, we have things happening as well, aside from this Sunday. Now, if this is the first time, in case it is the time you tuned in at this very exact moment, my apologies, but this time is the end of the service. You might want to catch the VOD or you might have to watch us again on the next airing. When is the next airing, perhaps? In case you're watching us on the online services, you might want to catch us 10 a.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m., Philippine Standard Time every Sunday. And you can catch us on Facebook, Church Online, and other platforms that you uh, see. We'll have that posted right there on the screen right now so that you know where to catch, where to catch us, of course. Other things to do note, uh, we also have Services happening in the middle of the week. Yes, that's right. What are these, by the way? Let me tell you the following. First, we have the midweek service at 7 p.m. Wednesday. We always have this on Zoom, so we'd like you to join us there. This is the best time to basically catch up and basically, you know, listen to the message and also basically have yourself refreshed. The cool part about this is there is an interaction moment. These are the times when you both reflect and model together with us on that particular message, let us know your takeaways and basically how does this help you learn for what's going to be happening for the week. Also, 
Aside from that, we also have prayer meetings, Tuesdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. onwards, also happening on Zoom. If you want to join us on the prayer chain, let us know. Give, uh, give us a heads up on our message, uh, message group and we'll give you a chance to hop in. Just make sure to also hop in with us because we are going to need that prayer chain going. Everybody gets a chance to pray. So let's pray together in this manner. Now, we also have other things coming up, in-person services as well, just to look forward to that. Make sure to pin yourselves together. Make Watch out for announcements on that particular moment. We're going to have them flashed on Gateway Community Church on Facebook. Catch us there, and we'll give you more details on what to look forward to. All right. So far, that's everything for this month and also for this week. We'll catch you again next time on the next service. My name is Zeke. This is Gateway Community Church, where we reach people and transform lives. We'll see you again next Sunday. God bless you all.